Oblivion's implemented decentralization in 1994 as a complete shock therapy treatment. And I should say, parenthetically, that that was a huge surprise to people in the World Bank, the IMF, and, and the international agencies generally. I know this for a fact because I was working at the World Bank at the time, and I was the guy in charge in La Paz, in, in Bolivia. I was the guy in charge of health, education, environment, early childhood development, civil service reform. So I, I was in charge of the sectors that would have been most affected by decentralization. The government announced what they called the law of popular participation, that's what they called it, and nobody knew what it was. And in the corridors of the, the World Bank office in La Paz, we sort of joked about it in that not very funny way, saying, oh look, they're legislating participation, you know, how silly is that? And it turned out it was a, a, a deep, radical shock therapy decentralization. People have claimed in the press and even in some academic papers that it was imposed by the bank. This is completely false. The bank had no, didn't understand it when it was announced. So you know, the idea that the bank imposed it is just absurd.